Hello and welcome to The Builder's Bench, where we break down common issues with today's automatic transmissions. I'm Alex Kersey, editor of Transmission Digest, and with me here is Reno Partipilla from ATSG, who's our technical expert for this video series. So we've got a bit of a fun car to talk about today. That's right, Alex, we do. We've got an American classic, a Camaro. And what we're gonna talk about is a Camaro, a 2018 Camaro with a 6.2 motor that is also used in the 8L90 transmission in there. Comes into a shop barely moving in drive or reverse, so the shop goes ahead and pulls out the transmission. When it's on the bench, the builder can tell that it seems like that it was very low on oil. So they go underneath the car to see if there's any oil leaks. And they're checking the cooler lines, and they didn't see any leaks around the transmission or anything like that, so they go ahead and check by the radiator and didn't see any leaks over there. They also opened up the radiator cap to make sure that there was no contamination from the transmission getting inside the radiator, but nothing like that was found. So they build the transmission and they install it. And as they're installing it and they're pumping in the oil, the tech all of a sudden, it sounds like it's raining behind him. And they turn around and they look and transmission fluid is pouring out the rear differential. So how would the transmission fluid get into the differential like that? Good question. Most transmissions, we all, a rule of thumb would be that we have two cooler lines and the transmission fluid is pumped out of the transmission, goes into the radiator or into a heat exchanger and then comes back into the transmission. Okay. Not on this Camaro with the 6.2 and the 8L90. Hmm. What they end up doing is you can see on these cooler lines over here, we have a cooler line that goes to the radiator, just like a traditional one cooling system would be for the transmission. Then on the way back to the transmission, instead of it going into the transmission, it actually goes to the rear limited slip differential, which actually has a small radiator inside there or a heat exchanger to cool off the rear end fluid. Then from there, it comes back to the transmission. What happened on this one was, is that cooler that's in the back of the, in the rear differential ended up rupturing. So as the transmission fluid is going through its cooling system, it leaks into the rear differential and leaks out. Okay, got it. So not only did this Camaro need to have the transmission done, it also needed a new rear differential on it. Because at this point in time, we've heard that there are some companies that are making a new cover that holds that cooler on there. But as for now, we hear that you actually have to change that limited slip rear differential. Okay, got it. Yeah, and that difference is going to be important to keep in mind if this car comes into the shop. Correct, Alex, correct. And, you, and usually we're only seeing this, as far as we know, it's on the Camaros with the 8L90 and the 6.2 motors. So that is going to do it for today's tech tip from the Builder's Bench. Tune in again next time for more transmission technical tips and thanks for watching.